My name is Sherry Honkala. I'm a formerly homeless mother of two children. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and why the seriousness of my tone. I'm 47 years old. For over 20 years, I've been traveling around this country, and I'm tired. I'm tired of going into shelter after shelter after shelter. And I know what it's like to be a mother and almost freeze to death, not in the South, in the North, and have a nine-year-old little boy and not know, not be able to get into city shelters. So I know the story of walking around every single day, trying to sleep in a car, trying to go to wherever to get something to eat, having to sit at this location after that location in order to get a mattress on a floor somewhere. And I think it's time for us to be tired of living like that. Right. Tired of it. Yeah. Tired of working at, having to work two, three, four different jobs, having to donate blood, having to donate plasma, so you got a couple of bucks for the rest of the week. We got to be tired of all this. And we have an opportunity right now because we as poor people from around this country are getting organized. It's much easier just to go hit some dope. It's harder to be sober and to fight and to be present and to take back our future for ourselves and for our children. Now I know people are saying, well, I can't get involved in this process because I've got outstanding bench warrants. I've got legal problems. I've got a parole officer I gotta talk to. I got whatever. Well, I've had over 200 arrests. And I'm a single mother. So if I can get up every day and deal with all the various different legal obligations that I've had, you can do it too. Amen. And so we're trying to build a multiracial, intergenerational movement that's led by the poor. We want to get as many stories as possible uh, about what's happening in this country, that people are just being left to die, that can't get access to decent jobs, those kinds of things. So we're going to collect those stories. Basically, it's where all of us that have been just left to rot in this country are coming together to come up with a plan about what we're going to do in order to take back our future. All right. And we need you to be there. Yeah. We don't get paid to do this stuff. We ain't got some great salary. And this is a life's commitment. This is not our job. And so we go from town to town and we hustle. And we try to figure out how to get to the next town. But we will commit to you that if there's a group of people here in the church, in Birmingham, that are poor, that want to be a part of this movement and get to Detroit and sit down and break bread with other brothers and sisters around the country that are tired of living in the conditions that all of us are living in, we will get you there. That is our commitment. And the sister over here, Rosemary, she's going to stand up. If you're interested in coming with us, if you ain't got a phone, if you ain't got an address, wherever, we'll use this as a contact spot here at the church. And we will be in communication with you, and we will figure out how to get a van or a bus or whatever to bring you to the social forum. We will feed you, we will help you deal with whatever the legal issues are so that we can have this larger conversation about how we're gonna go forward and linking up poor people from across this entire country. So I appreciate very much for letting me speak to you this morning. And you know, God bless all of you. This ain't no joke. All of you have a skill or something to, to volunteer in this process. And we desperately need you. So I want to thank all of you for letting me talk to you for a few minutes today. And here's both of you. Thank you.